everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful week. And um, I'd like to bring you a little short uh, stretching, breathing yoga practice this week. So we're going to do the whole thing seated. Um, and it'll probably only be about 20 minutes or so, I think. So um, have a nice comfortable chair that you can sit in and um, not feel the chair tip and that it's okay for you to be a little bit forward on the chair so your spine can be nice and tall, not slumped back into it. Um, and we'll plant those feet down, the feet right below your knees. And again, your shoulders over your hips and just see if you can take a moment to lengthen, lengthen your spine up as you sit here. We're going to start with a gentle um, massaging. Yeah, so let's start in our hands. And again, we're just rubbing the thumb and the four fingers over our um, palm, the backs of our hands. Just feeling that insides of the palms. So we're going to rub each finger. We're going to rub down the thumb both hands, yeah, the thumb and all the fingers, just kind of rubbing them down in between the knuckles, the pads of the fingers. Once again, coming to that kind of washing uh, motion of your hands. And we're gonna take all the fingers and draw them back and bring that palm forward, soften your elbow. And we're gonna roll the fingers back this back, stretch. And we'll try the other side. Again, opening up through the palm, stretching those fingers back, soft elbow here. And then rolling it back, all the while just being mindful, noticing um, how gentle you need to be with your body this morning or afternoon. We're going to come up towards the forearm and like a toothpaste tube, kind of squeeze down and towards the wrist with each one. Moving upwards towards your upper arm and then down, forearm and fingers, it's the whole thing. And again, upper arm and then down the forearm. A little bit of your shoulder, the neck. We'll try the other side again, a bit of your shoulder, the neck. Across your chest, your rib cage up here where we breathe, right? It's the whole thing and often in between these ribs at the top, it gets tight. And again, just massage out the top. And then we're going to come around the side of our head with our hand and maybe hook that little knob in your ear, inner ear, if you can. If not, you could just have the side of the head. Yeah. And we're going to release the head over to that one side tucking the chin slightly, you're not pulling, right? Just breathing into the side of your neck there, letting the weight of your elbow draw the head to the side. And again, have a nice deep breath as you do this, letting the shoulder move away from the ear, so heavy on this side. Release it slightly, hold the back of the head, turn the face down, and we'll do it down towards the floor. So again, your back is still tall, your chin's tucking, and again, let the weight of the elbow draw the chin in, relaxing the back of the neck. Taking nice deep breaths there. And then gently release the hand and let the head float back up again. So you're just turning it easily side to side. And 
be again side to side. I'm going to take it the opposite way, so your opposite hand up and around, and you're hooking again that little bump in the ear if you can, or if not, just the side of the head. Slightly tuck the chin, let the opposite shoulder be heavy. Find some space in that neck and your breath. Again, you're not pulling, just allowing the weight of your own arm to do the work. And gently uh, releasing that, letting the hand go towards the back of the head and turning downwards. And again, you're not rounding in your back, but just tucking the chin as you let the weight of the elbow draw the chin. Uh, the, Chin in. Just feeling it in the back of the uh, shoulder, in between the shoulders there. And again, we'll release the hand, gently lift the head, and again, we'll gently turn side to side. Find our center here again, release our hands towards the back of our chair, the, uh, these rungs here or the base of the chair. And again, you're a little bit forward, your feet are a little bit uh, forward. And you're going to push down into that chair to lift your breastbone up. You do not need to take the head back uh, to get a stretch across your chest. But if you wanted to and it felt good, you could gaze upward as if you're bringing your face towards the sun. Again, opening that chest. And if it feels uncomfortable on the back of the neck, you can always tuck the chin in and then gently lower the chest, uh, releasing the arms. And then we'll go to one side, leaning over. Again, you let the head uh, let the spine lengthen the rib cage open as you let the, your hand, your finger, your shoulder on that side. Just let it go. Feel the weight of it and the weight of your head side. Again, your belly's lifted. And breathe into it there. Bringing the hand back up and inhale. Find a little bit of length there and go off uh, over to the opposite side. So again, you're, you may be slightly tucking the chin. There's space in your rib cage. You're letting go of the fingers, the shoulder. And breathing deeply. And then bring the hand back up and inhale back up towards your center. Now letting your fingers go towards your knees, you can Draw the belly in and the spine, the middle of your spine, back towards the back of the chair as if you're trying to reach the back of the chair with, in between your shoulder blades, right? And then slide the hands back. Begin to tip the pelvis forward and from your tailbone, bring space into your spine, lifting up the chest, maybe push on the thighs a little bit, lifting the face up again. And again, slide those hands towards your knees, release your air, and let your shoulder blade, your back, go back towards the back of the chair, your belly's tucked. And then slide the hands back, push into the floor, your thighs, from your tailbone all the way up through your spine length. And try that one more time, so bringing your hands towards your knees, rounding your spine back, bringing space between those shoulder blades and vertebrae back there. And then sliding those hands back, bringing length to your spine, arch lifting up. And again, find center, bringing your shoulders over your hips. Take another deep breath or so. Yeah, and then bring those 
uh, one hand across uh, your thigh. So just a gentle twist first here, letting the opposite hand rest behind. And see if you can open up through your chest, gazing to one side. And bring it back to center. Take a breath. And we'll go towards the opposite side. So again, crossing the opposite hand. Let that other hand rest or go to the back rung of the chair. Looking out. So just gently opening up. Breathing. We never want to twist in the low part of our spine. Just the upper opening. back and find our center here opening our feet so maybe toe healing those feet just feel the floor a little as you do that widening your stance slightly yeah but still planted down taking a breath up and we'll release uh, one forearm down to our thigh and we'll take the opposite arm stretch it straight up in the air so you're kind of pushing on that thigh reaching the fingertip up lengthening up do uh, whatever's comfortable with your head and neck. And then turn the palm so it's facing down towards the floor and your focus down towards the floor. <laughs> Reach out. Reach out sideways. Really stretching through that rib cage. Opening up. Taking that full breath there. And then let that arm release down and swing it back up. Taking a breath at the top here. Let it go over one more time. And let it drop down to swing it back up. And this time, let those fingertips lift you right back up. Take a breath there and drop the opposite forearm down. And those other fingers are going straight up so really opening in your rib cage kind of pushing on that opposite thigh reaching up breathing deeply and turn the palm down gaze down and really reach out with the fingertips as long as you can be take a breath here and then let it go let the arm go down to reach all the way back up again Turn it over again, out, letting it go down and all the way up again. And then let those fingertips lead you all the way up to the top and let it go back down. Do it having your hands on your, your thighs, letting your tailbones, uh, uh, the energy go backwards as the top of your head goes forward and your chest goes forward. Stretching again in those hips and lengthening out. Again, breathing deeply. If it feels nice, maybe you want to let a fingertip, your fingertips of one hand or maybe two down to the ground or maybe not. Yeah, so that's up to you. Maybe your head, you let that go or not. And then bringing your hands one at a time back up there to your thighs. Push on them to lengthen your spine back up again to the top. Take a breath. We're going to toe heel those feet to wiggle those uh, feet back in. And we're going to walk ourselves over to one uh, side. So lifting the leg over the, over the corner of your chair turning a bit towards our sides, so actually kind of at a diagonal, our back tall. Yeah, the energy going down into the uh, front foot. And then we'll take that back foot, the back thigh, turn it all in, let the thigh drop down, let the knee drop down. But the back heel is uh, aiming up, maybe the toes are tucked. If that doesn't feel so comfortable, Pull for you and you let the toes point back outwards. Just releasing in the front of your body here, the front of your hip. And again, just breathing into it, especially if it feels tight. And then sliding that foot back in. So we're still facing in this direction. 
and come even more in this direction. So bringing that opposite thigh right in so you're tight to the backs of your chair. Your feet are planted. We're still a little bit towards the edge of that chair. And we're going to slide our inside hand, the hand closest to the back of the chair, around, uh, around back behind you. Now that might be enough stretch for some of you opening in the chest. Yeah, you might take the opposite arm and use the top of the chair to twist your spine looking backwards. And again, breathing, wringing out the spine. Unwinding it, letting it go, bringing yourself back to center here. Take a moment before you step that leg back open again. Use your hands if you need to, bring the thigh back over. Find yourself at center for a moment, what that is. And then take the opposite foot over again, the bump of the chair. Yeah, or the corner there. You're you're slightly towards the edge, but still stable. Energy down into that front foot, knee, ankle. Yeah, they're in a line. The opposite one, you let it drop. Let the knee drop down the front of the hip. Uh, the thigh stretch. Maybe you keep those toes tucked and the heel lifted, or maybe you, you let the toes point backwards. And again, you can hold on to that chair, your thigh. Just let it release down. Slide it gently back in, and again, we're, we're facing in this direction. We're going to just go a little bit closer to the back side of the chair, so lifting that leg, bring it in. Still uh, more or less in the edge. We slide the inside hand closest to the back of the chair around towards that base. Maybe you just hold there, and that's a nice twist and opening for you. Or maybe you take this outside arm and hold the chair. Twisting further, looking back. Breathing deeply. Again, creating space in your spine, your breath. And then we let that go. Slide that hand back in. Yeah, open the leg over the sides of the chair, bringing it all back to your center. And again, take a moment here in center. Yeah, to so take one knee and we'll grab it on the underneath side, maybe, or maybe over and under the knee. Um, whatever feels comfortable to draw that knee in. Again, try not to slump back while you're doing this, but lengthen the spine up and yeah, maybe you go towards the center of your um, sh shoulder there or maybe you go a little wider whatever feels uh, right to your hip today slide the hand down flex the foot draw it across or just hug in again if this crossing doesn't work but if it does strong flex of the foot let the knee open Again, just lengthen up, try and take that round out of your back, lifting the chest. This might be enough stretch. Some of you might have a little stretch forward. Again, breathing into that stretch. And find center again, drawing the uh, knee to foot off and down. Take a moment again with the two feet down. Nice breath, and we'll take it the opposite. So bringing the other knee up, however feels good to you, keeping the spine long, and again, maybe it's wider, maybe it's in the center, a little of both. And then grab hold, the shin, the ankle, flex that foot, draw it in, let the knee open out, and your spine lift and lengthen. that that air can come in and out. Beautiful exchange of air. And 
again, maybe some of you might have a little bit of a forward bend. releasing it off, so lengthening back up, draw that foot back off, plant the foot down, so you come back to your center again, and just take a moment, we're going to close the eyes now, and just let, allow your breath to float in and out. We are creating the space and the universe is filling it. As you exhale, creating space. And as you inhale, letting that nice energy in. the eyes still closed, let's bring our hands one on, on top of the other across our uh, breastbone or heart center here. Again, just feeling your own pulse, your warmth, the warmth of the air around you. Take a moment to feel gratitude. And then bring our palms together. Let the thumbs come up towards our third eye forehead here. We'll all bow forward. Again, releasing head to heart. Namaste. Which means the divine in me bows to the divine in all of you. So I hope you enjoyed that little practice today. Um, and have a great week.